Hello people from Middle Station, John here. Well, please, if you guys can like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, goes in the comments section. I usually always reply to everyone's comments. Well, today I want to talk about Brentford game against Arsenal. Yesterday we played home and we lost 2-3. Saw a lot of people saying really bad things, cussing the players and, and like really, really angry at the team itself. We're going to play Manchester City next week and a lot of people saying if we cannot be Brentford we're gonna get hammered by Man City no disrespect to Brentford his team that is fourth in the championship they have some really good individual players like Ben Rama a player we are uh, linked with and a very good player uh, but people of course I don't totally agree with people cussing the, the players and everyone else I think that of course we lost but honestly if you if you see the goals I just don't think and I'm pretty sure we did not try 100% we're playing games after months after months and we're you're still getting used to it. Of course, we're training, we're building chemistry to go and play City. But it's not like that. You're not going to start at 100 miles per hour. Of course, we beat Charlton 6-0. But it doesn't mean we're going to go and beat every single team just because our players look fit. But that's not really how it works, people. Like, we have to still play games, games, and games. And we might lose against Man City, but that doesn't mean we are... That's a, if we lose to Man City, a lot of people are saying, oh, of course, we lost to Brentford. That was expected already, but not really. I don't really think our players tried 100%. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Arteta came up to them and said, guys, have fun. Let's not risk anything. Let's not do tackles. Let's not do anything silly. We don't, we don't want to get any injuries here. Let's just play passing game. And he puts a 4-2-4 at the beginning of the game. I think uh, the, the lineup here says Leno, Bellerin, Mustafi, Pablo Marie, Tierney. Then go to the midfield we look and survive a midfield that gives you no protection and I really think uh, Mikko Arteta would never put that midfield in the game and for example in the Premier League a really important game he would never do that and the 4-2-4 uh, he would never do that as well and then on the attack you have Saka on the left Pepe on the right uh, and Ketia and Aubameyang on the center people and then on the second half we start with Leno, Bellerin, Mustafi this almost every single player um, we also have Maitland Niles on the mid uh, with Guendouzi again give no protection for you at all I like the idea that Maitland Niles can play on the midfield but for me he has to play with a guy who gives him protection I think if he, if we actually sign Partey putting Maitland Niles close to him is gonna get is gonna give him a lot of freedom I think it's gonna be really good for him but if we play if we play like a player like uh, Guendouzi and Milan Niles it's not really gonna work because um, Guendouzi his defensive awareness is actually really 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 poor tactically he's not good enough uh, but he's a young guy of course he can learn the game he, he will learn the game for sure I just hope he keeps his head down and no disrespect to Mikko Arteta um, and then we can see the three goals will make the changes well I think Martinez went for Leno I actually have who the changes over here. I'm pretty sure Martinez went for Leno. Um, also, I uh, note that uh, okay, Socrates went for Bellerin. Holding went for Mustafi. I have to talk about holding on this game. Of course, as I said, it's a friendly. We should not take it 100% seriously. Just like the, the the game itself, because you see the first goal, David Luiz. You, you will never see David Lewis doing something like that. Of course, he might have a bad, uh, bad error on a game. For example, in the games like, uh, of course, Liverpool, Watford. But he, you're never going to see David Lewis doing something like that joke that he did on the game. And then Lacazette also on the second goal. They made Lomero's on the third goal. But really, if you see that the player, when the players take the ball from them, they don't track back at all, people. We're not, we did not try 100% of the game. So I will not take that game 100%. Seriously, I think we should get something. Of course, we're not gonna get anything positive from it, but we should not think it's the end of the world. It's just my opinion on it. Yeah, Kolasinac went for Tierney as well. Uh, Nelson went for Obama. If I'm not wrong, Nelson got an assist for Alexander Lacazette in the second half. Uh, Martinelli for Saka. Saka came in for Martinelli, uh, and um, and call for Nelson. Is that it? Or Nelson came in. Oh, okay. So Nelson came for a bombing, and after 25 minutes, we changed Nelson. So I hope it's not an injury. I really don't think it isn't. Uh, from what I saw, I did, of course, I did not watch the game. If someone actually watched the game, which I don't think nobody did, uh, you guys can come here in the comments. Tell me what you think about the game. 
I don't, I still, as I said, I don't think nobody watched it. And the second goal, I also see the second goal, the Lacazette mistake. I also see like the, uh, when, when the player from uh, Brentford shoots, honestly, in my opinion, Martinez could have done way better than that. He's so tall, but he's showing that honestly, and that's not the first game. If you think about the games also against Liverpool in the penalty sh on the penalties, uh, on the penalty shootout, you see that Martinez was close to every single ball, but he cannot catch it at all. It's it's honestly frustrating and that's not the first game he does that of course it had some great great games uh, in the Europa League against uh, Victoria Victoria Guimaraes but honestly when we played those games I wouldn't trust Emiliano Martinez 100% if Leno was there I honestly think he he would have saved the second one and the third one the first one in my opinion no goalkeeper would save that um, so I can give him a pass for that but the second and the third honestly the second mainly it was I, I, honestly I did not like it at all and of course the individual mistakes as well Niles playing on the midfield uh, you see Guendouzi's positioning when Niles loses the ball as well and the first goal when David Luiz loses the ball and Guendouzi is just like walking there I'm not saying it's all Guendouzi's fault because all, play all players were to be fair they were not trying 100% and I can give him a pa I can give him a pass but honestly people we gotta get ready for the city and this game does not mean anything to Man City of course if we won it we would have built um, more confidence but honestly you will never see Arteta putting a 4-2-4 he was literally trying to test every single player every single player and you're not gonna do that by playing important on, on important games you're not gonna test those players in important games you're gonna do something a little bit more crazy on those friendly games honestly if we go to like uh, at the beginning of the season which I don't think we're going to USA we're not going to have a preseason I don't think so uh, we're going you're going there I, I honestly don't care how many games you lose because it does not matter you're there to test the players to see who's gonna play and who's not gonna play for example at the beginning of this season Saka impressed a lot and guess what he got a spot on the first team and we were just testing a lot of players of course I, I would beat Colorado Rapids um, wasn't even Colorado Rapids. Who do we beat? Team from oh, I, I forgot people. Uh, but we beat Fiorentina, and then we started doing that bad. Uh, we lost to Lyon, and I cannot remember the other games honestly. Uh, so yes, people, I would not put like 100% pressure on those players because I don't think it's fair. It's just a friendly. Of course, we should have won that game, and uh, we should have. David Luiz shouldn't have done things like that. Milanai was like I said, but yeah, but I honestly. It's not all that, in my opinion. Just what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, people. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Join here. Corner Station.